Hello everyone, welcome back to today's video. So today I'm taking you guys down to Port Harcourt. We are going to eat the most popular food in, or popular street food in Port Harcourt, fish and bole. So this recipe is, in fact, you can enjoy it any time of the day, be it morning, afternoon or night. You can enjoy it with your bare hand. If you like using fork and knife, you are also welcome. It was so funny. My daughter was just imitating his father using fork and knife. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so guys, let's just dive into this video. Let me show you how I prepare this tasty fish. This is the fish I'll be using. You are free to use any fish of your choice. This one is called Lubina in Spanish. I didn't make a research of what is called in English, but this is what is called in Spanish. So what I'm doing now is to go ahead, use the knife, cut or give them mark the two sides. This will enable the fish to, you know, absorb the sauce that I will be using for it. Over there, I have a jar of a hot chili. I prepared it in my channel. In fact, the video is the one I, uh, I uploaded before this. So I will also leave the link in the description box so that you can go ahead and wash it. Once you have this uh, chili or hot pepper at home prepared, everything you are making, it will just be very easy if you need a sauce. Just go ahead, take it and fast, fast, everything is done. So after cutting it, I will go ahead and then uh, cut the lemon that I will be using. I will be cutting the or slicing the lemon. I will be putting it in between the fish. Just one is uh, enough. That aside, this is the hot sauce please do where to watch the video the video i will leave it in the description box so next to do is to wear a glove please wear a glove oh. you don't want to tell the story of how it happened <laughs> hey this is the worst story i don't like talking about how did it happen uh -huh. and the pepper enter my eyes no wear a glove so what i'm just going to do now is to make sure that the hot chili penetrate through all those cutting and i will just do this to all of the four fish there keep watching please thank you so much for tuning in i so much appreciate if you are here for the first time thank you and for the new subscribers thank you so much for coming i don't know which of the video that brought you to my channel but thank you so much you won't regret it please don't forget to give me a huge thumbs up So right after marinating all of them or rubbing them with the sauce, I'll go ahead and carefully fold them. I want to cook them in the foil because I want it to be juicy. You know, when you're eating it, you'll be feeling the juicy part of it. But if you don't want it to be that way, you can as well put it on top of your rank. First of all, put a parchment pepper, not foil, because it will stick there and when you are taking it out you have to be you know struggling with it so put a parchment paper on a rank and place it on it and take it to the oven but wrapping it this way i'll put it into my tray take them to the oven i'll be grilling them there for 
one hour i want it to be well cooked each side 30 minutes when it is okay or after 30 minutes i'll just go ahead and turn the other side just like this so that being done i'll be using ripe plantain this plantain is not overly ripe this ripe uh this cons uh <laughs> This type of ripe is what uh, I need because after you finish uh, roasting the plantain in the oven, it will still look firm. So I'm using six of them. I will go ahead and cut them, give them mark as well, spread salt on it, and then take them to the oven. It's good that you make use of the oven. You know, you can put three things in the oven so that you don't waste life. So that is what I did here. So here what I'm trying to do is to make a little costlaw that we are going to use and eat along with it. Costlaw you just need garbage and carrots, then mayonnaise. These three things makes costlaw. The next thing is the carrots. I'll just go ahead and uh, scrap them. I scrap them because that sharpener was just giving me a lot of, <laughs> well, wasting my time. So I decided to use my grater and do it. I cannot stay in the kitchen and be doing, you know, using <laughs> something that is good, but it's not working fast. We need fast, fast things to keep the work going. So everything has been finely sharp and uh, grated. What I like doing when I'm doing coleslaw, I use a, uh, vinegar to get rid of the taste of that uh, garbage so that is exactly what I, I take the carrot out i will just add vinegar to warm water i'm using warm water you can as well use hot water they are the same so just to get rid of those uh, uh get rid of the smell i'll just pour them inside the water and uh, leave it there to sit for like five minutes i'll wash it out again and after washing it out the Coslaw is ready. Something that I like doing when I make a coleslaw or salad, I will just uh, save them in a container and put them in the fridge like that. If you want to eat salad anytime at all, or you are eating rice, or you are eating uh, anything, and you want to accompany it with a coleslaw, which goes along with so many things, you just take it from the fridge. So I'm using this container. This container we keep it and uh, safe in the fridge so I, I will not be adding all of them I'll just be making a little coleslaw now so the next thing that is remaining is to add a uh, mayonnaise in it and mix them very well set it aside then we are ready to go you can use mayonnaise and if you don't want to use mayonnaise just add olive oil or nothing when I said before that this uh, this garbage was very fresh. Did I say the, no? I didn't say that. This uh, garbage was very, very fresh. I don't know. Very fresh and very nice. So you can even eat it without adding mayonnaise. But you know, to fulfill the role <laughs> and to fulfill that name called Coslo, you have to add uh, mayonnaise to it. So that is it. Everything is ready. And uh, here comes our fish. That is it. They are all cooked. Look at how they are looking. Mmm, very nice. So if you like hot chili, you can go ahead and add more. Yeah, I added to this more. Just add plantain. You can use your hand and you know cut cut them. But I didn't want to cut it before they would tell me that it's not complete. When I give you or serve you your own, you can cut it. Just remember that I gave you two. <laughs> So that is it it's ready to be enjoyed just serve it with the hot sauce and that is it serve your coleslaw by the corner and this uh, lunch is very ready 
we use it as lunch uh, that day so thank you so much for watching i truly appreciate don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and if you have watched to this extent i truly truly appreciate you are the real ogs just put it there yes we are <laughs> let me see that in the comment section all right thank you so much and i hope you enjoyed this video i hope i motivated you i hope i gave you lunch idea or dinner idea thank you so much and i will see you in my next video bye bye